Hello, I'm weather announcer Melissa Shank, and on behalf of Expert Village, today we're going to be talking about the weather. In this segment, let's talk about forecasting as an art for a moment. Many people think that weather forecasting is for only the scientific natured people, but uh, many artists actually really do enjoy the weather as well. And art does play into uh, weather forecasting, especially if you're going to translate that into a television position as a weather announcer, because not only do you need to be able to interpret the weather, but you also need to be able to draw the weather, because all of the maps that you see usually are drawn by someone. So if there are uh, the warm fronts and the cold fronts that you need to relate to your audience, you are going to be the one drawing them on the boards. So you'll see with this future cast here, you need to be able to activate this and see, and be able to really predict um, by reading the maps, which we've talked about in earlier segments, how to interpret maps and weather plots and uh, different models on the computers. What you're doing is you're interpreting those and then you need to take those interpretations, um, translate them to paper, what I tend to do is put a chart together of all of my data and what uh, the forecast is going to be tonight, tomorrow, uh, day two through seven, so a seven day planner really. And then you're going to look at your temperatures and how much precipitation is going to be coming and what the sun times are, the uh, sunrise and the sunset. And you put all of that information together and then you build your graphics. And this is where the art form really does come into play, where you are talking about not only the temperatures, but uh, showing pictures of uh, pictures that people have sent in from the community, but you are doing all of the graphics related with that. So weather forecasting not only for the scientific natured person, but also as an art form as well.